friends, what's up? My name is Joss and welcome back to Scoobles Reads. Today we are going to be doing the New York Times by the book tag which was created by Marie Berg. New York Times by the book is a book and in the book they ask authors about their own reading. Marie took a bunch of these questions that were asked to the authors and compiled a tag out of them. I will also be tagging a few people in the down bar below so let's get started. Question number one is what book is on your nightstand now? Currently, me and Elena are in the middle of The Crow Girl by Eric Axel Sund. It is a Nordic noir police procedural slash mystery. It was originally published in Sweden as a series of three, but they are being republished in English by Knopf in June of this year as a massive bind-up of like 800 pages. It is a very tough read, trigger warnings of all kinds, but it is a very good. I am also in the middle of another thriller. It is called I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. It is about a young boy who was killed in a hit and run incident and the investigation of this crime. It comes out on May the 3rd. The second question is what is the last truly great book you read? And it would definitely have to be The Night Circus by Aaron Morgenstern. The writing was lush and indulgent and just everything. It was so gorgeous and I would definitely recommend it. Question number three is if you could meet any writer dead or alive, who would it be and what would you want to know? I started reading Americana several weeks ago by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Unfortunately it was due at the library and it only got about a hundred pages in, but I would have to say either her or Jung Yoon who wrote Shelter, which is one of my top reads of the year so far. Both of these authors are women of color and they also wrote characters of color of their own ethnicity. Reading what little I did of Americana and Finishing Shelter raised so many questions about my own ethnicity, my own writing, and discussing racism, ageism, privilege, and intersectionality. I am still to this day thinking about both of those works and I just bought Americana for my Kindle so I can finish that up soon. Question number four is what books might we be surprised to find on your shelves? I think I read pretty widely and my shelves do reflect that so I'm not sure if anything would really come as a surprise. Question number five is how do you organize your personal a library. So my bookshelf can fit two layers deep of books. So in the back I put all my standalones and in the front I put all of my series with some books in random places. Both of those are organized alphabetically by author's last name. Question number six is what book have you been meaning to read but haven't gotten around to yet or are there any books that you have been embarrassed about not reading? I've always wanted to read some Donna Tartt so I do want to get to either The Secret History or The Goldfinch and I also want to start reading A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R.R. R. Martin. They are just huge books and I'm not sure that I really want to take that commitment just yet. Question number seven is what book did you think that you were supposed to like but just didn't and what was the last book that you put down? This one I would have to say is Uprooted by Naomi Novik. There was just so much hype around it but I could not do it. I didn't get along with the writing style or the way that she wrote the characters so sadly I DNF'd it at 55%. Question number eight is what kind of stories are you drawn to and are there any that you steer clear from? I am most drawn to hard-hitting literary fiction and contemporaries and also in the mystery thriller crime genre. There aren't really any books that I steer clear from. As you guys know, I will basically read anything. Question number nine is if you could require the president to read any book, what would it be? The only thing that I know about the president's reading is that he really enjoyed Fates and Furies by Lauren Groff, which I also enjoyed. It's got two very unlikable protagonists and a lot of domestic drama. The first book that comes to mind that is similar that I'm in the middle of right now is The Nest by Cynthia Dupree Sweeney. There's another book that comes to mind that has these same themes but I haven't read yet. Goodreads has a bunch of mixed reviews. It's called The Children's Crusade by Anne Packer so maybe I would recommend him to borrow that one from the library. I'm taking this question very seriously as if the president would watch my videos and take my recommendations seriously. Question number 10 is what do you plan on reading next? I have a buddy read plan with my really good friend Taylor over at Let's Get Lost in Words. Together we are reading the OG mystery novel and it is The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins. I'm going to pick it up at the library in a little bit. So that is it for this tag. As I mentioned, I will tag a few people in the down bar below. If you guys have any comments, questions, or anything else, please leave it down below. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!